Willem Hendrik Wim Kral was born in the Groningen province of the Netherlands the 21st of November 1928. His teenage years were lived in the midst of World War II in a country that attempted neutrality but succumbed to German forces. This tumultuous time for the country provided a couple of influences for the young Willem. A fellow citizen of Groningen, Experimental Dutch artist Hendrik Nicholas Workman set up a printing house and produced his own avant-garde magazine, The Next Call. Museum director and fellow artist William Sandberg arranged for Workman to have a solo exhibition. Sandberg was a member of the Dutch Resistance, and after Workman was shot by the Gestapo at the end of the war, set up a retrospective at the Stedelijk Museum where he was curator and where Crow was eventually employed in 1964 in charge of its visual identity. Sandberg is best known for his typographic design of the Waterloop Line metro station. About two years after the defeat of German forces, at age 19, Wim Crow enrolled in the fine arts program at Academy Minerva in Groningen. He also studied typography at the Garrett Fretfield Academy in Amsterdam. He was a lifelong educator and taught at the Royal Academy of Art and Design in the 50s. From 1965 to 85, he was associated with the Department of Industrial Design at Delft University. From 1987 to 1993, he was a professor at Erasmus University in Rotterdam. Kral was influenced by international typographic style and the work of Joseph Mueller Brockman. Perhaps it is here that he developed his fondness for grids. Grids give designers a mathematical and optical tool to construct their thoughts around. The mantra of form follows function that intersects modernism and functionalism gives solid base to grid thinking. International typographic style resonates practicality and simplicity, yet also speaks to an aesthetic that is structurally asymmetrical, bold, and risky. The first of many career breakthroughs began in 1963 when Crowell co founded Total Design with fellow designers Frisco Kramer and Benno Wessing. It was the first multidisciplinary design firm in the Netherlands. In 1964, while working for the Stedelijk, he acquired the nickname Mr. Gridnik because of his love of grids. Here are some examples of his work. In 1967, he produced an experimental typeface called New Alphabet, based on the new challenges of pixelation and screen-based design. According to Kral, it was never meant to be used, yet it sparked a newness in design, marking Kral a pioneer in the pixel-based challenges ahead. In 1988, designer Brett Wickens revitalized the typeface by using it for the album cover Substance by the band Joy Division. A spin-off of New Alphabet, Crow produced another typeface by his nickname, Gridnik, in 1974. William Crowell is iconic in Dutch culture. His designs permeated everyday Dutch life. His reach is demonstrated by the design of postage stamps and the basic telephone directory, done all in lowercase. His design and sense of style are so universally beautiful that they are sometimes granted the coveted timeless label. At the end of his life, on September 19, 2019, at age 90, he had reached world-renowned iconic status.